Many years ago, when I drove into this city, there was a particular park not too far from here that I would go and stop. I would land there and then go to a restaurant that was close by there and eat before I now start exploring all the things that brought me. And I did that with joy because I knew that one day would be a, a story. Let me tell you something that happened. When we were graduating the School of Ministry students, the last set, so I needed to have a snapshot with them. And then they drove me around to come in and I passed that area and I just looked and I nodded my head. I remembered the features there and I said, goodness, this life, somebody you need to pray, fix me. So that your tomorrow will not be angry that you wasted your today. Let the 10 year old version of you look at me i taught something years ago in zaria and i told them i said the 10 year version of you 10 years before now if he looks at you now will he say this was a person i wanted to become or will he say you wasted the gift of time don't let the 10 the next 10 years of your life look like the same because you keep giving excuses my voice is not very nice that's why i'm not singing well you are unserious then write a good song and let those with good voices sing and give credit to you. I didn't have time to prepare my sermon for the teachings because I, I teach on Sunday and I teach midweek service. You know it's not easy. Respectfully speaking, flimsy excuse. Go and find out those who preach five to ten sermons in a week. And they have been doing that for many, 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 many years. I'm lazy spiritually now because I have children. No. 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 I'm not a giver now because times are hard. I used to go and buy books and invest in myself. But now I don't do so much. No. God is speaking to you because we are going to pray. And there is a grace that I pray to God for that will come upon you. Honestly speaking. The gift of a man. When God taught me this, it changed my life. I made up my mind that I will love God with all my heart. But my generation will never look at me as a non-entity. It's not pride. It's the truth. The secret is this. I found your word and I did eat it. I made up my mind that there is nowhere across this globe. I will not enter any circle where I'll be intimidated. I can be challenged for good. I can be provoked onto a greater sense but not that I get somewhere and look at myself and feel miserable no I told myself that that dimension of shame I will end it forever there are places I enter today there are people I meet today that I consider it an honorable privilege to sit with them shake hands with them talk with them kings presidents of nations i don't take it for granted but can i tell you it is not as a valueless person that i sit there it is not as a necessary luggage i'm carried there it's with honor and gallancy to also contribute to their lives this is what god is training you to become so that you are like a battle axe whether you stand before kings and presidents and nobles you will honor them as touching what they represent but not to the detriment of your value Hallelujah. If I may not have the kind of intellectual soundness you want, there is an anointing that can do something in your life. If I may not have the vocal skills that you want, I can pray and I have a covenant with God and he will come on your behalf. My question for you as we prepare to pray is what is that rod in your hand there is a rod you have neglected while admiring others there is an anointing that has been hovering around your destiny waiting for your value waiting for you to build yourself listen to me the reward system in this kingdom answers to value you are a doctor 
rise to a level where you become an exceptional one and trust the God who announces men to announce you. You are a preacher, not for the sake of competition, but ladies and gentlemen, make a covenant with yourself and your destiny that no man will give you access to his pulpit. And while you stand and you are preaching, they are discussing among themselves. Let this be the last time this man returns here because he ended up wasting our time, wasting the time of our partners, wasting the time of all those who love this ministry. No, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses train yourself build yourself cry but train yourself cry but pray cry but go for trainings some of you after tonight you should go online and look for programs that you can do even if it's two week one month two month programs that can help to file your understanding or informally educate yourself there are materials online everything you are looking for you can find if you search with patience and with humility and determination let those who have results speak to you and mentor you and help you and build you. Hallelujah. Make up your mind that God will be able to trust you with the nations and you will not be a disappointment because of the excellency of your preparedness. Let me stop here. The reward system of the kingdom therefore is based on God's ability to anoint your value. Listen carefully, to anoint your value. Not just to anoint you, to anoint your value, to anoint your skill, to anoint your ability. Ability that is developed, ability that is refined, ability that is ready to be deployed, then the anointing comes upon it. The union between the anointing, the engracing, the favor of the spirit and value that is refined is what schedules seasons of reward in this kingdom. Let me repeat for one last time, then we begin to pray. The union between the supernatural anointing of the Holy Spirit coming upon your value, your skill, your ability, your gifting that has been discovered developed and refined with pain, patience, sacrifice. That is what schedules seasons of rewards. Are you a footballer? Huh? You are a footballer. Come. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. You are a footballer. You play football professionally. How long have you been in it? Huh? I, find, I find it hard when it is always time to my bedroom to play. Like now, I'm supposed to play for Oyan Sports. When I went there, I can't even play the ball. Yes. No, listen, this is what I'm saying. Your gift, you have done your own work, but there's no anointing on it. You see? It is not skill alone. This is where the pride of the secular world comes. As powerful as your skill is, minus the anointing, the devil can rubbish you in one moment. That's why I told you there is a grace that is coming. Because some of you, in truth, you have done your homework. God brought you to church because the missing component, that grace that must come upon the oil wants to multiply, but the vessel is small. Now that you have taken time to expand the vessel, the oil wants to multiply to fill up every vessel. Can I pray for you, my friend? I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this, our dear one. You are not ashamed you came to church and held a football in your hand. That is a level of conviction and passion. You are not ashamed of it. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray in the name of Jesus the anointing that lifts men that comes upon their gifts may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you I impart that anointing upon you and in the name of Jesus I open the two lift gate for you I release you go and flourish go and prosper in the name of Jesus.
that's how it works your skill and your gift listen carefully now watch this my friend the day you will come to stand here remind everybody of this thing that happened go watch this while jesus was struggling to learn the holy ghost acted as if he did not see him till after 30 years when jesus was prepared he now came to john in the wilderness right john baptizes jesus then the heavens are opened and the holy ghost now comes you would think that he did not see jesus some of you here are yet to work on yourself there is no need doing any impartation because the truth is that it's going to be a waste the only impartation you need is grace and the stamina the staying power the resilience to keep pushing whether in ministry business professional life and pursuit but there are others in all honesty scattered across this crowd following online you are saying apostle i don't mean to be arrogant but i sincerely can admit to you that god has helped me i have done my homework in ministry i have done my homework in business it is for such i want to welcome you by this impartation you are about to receive now you saw what happened to our dear footballer gentleman there is an anointing believe me that can come upon men we don't just walk by skill alone that is why i told you the reward system of the kingdom is the union i will emphasize again between value refined value that is prepared to be deployed and then the engracing of the spirit when these two combine together there is no limit to how far a man can go it would be stupid and arrogant for many 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 years before now to imagine that we'll be influencing people across the globe to go from one nation to the other and keep that nation at a standstill it was a phenomenal meeting that we had in kenya last last year i think it was within a span of one to two months the planning no publicity material that i'm, I'm aware billboards and the rest none Sixty-five thousand people phenomenal meeting by the spirit the fathers of the land there told me according to them that the last time a meeting like this happened was when Maurice Sorulo came and the spiritual father of the man who hosted me we were there with him and he was telling me because he was Maurice Sorulo's interpreter and the fathers were broken and humbled and said we see the fire of revival returning to Kenya again it does not happen by luck I don't know what height you want God to take you in to. But in the next two minutes, for the sake of time, please, no distraction. I want you to cry out your destiny before your maker. In the name of Jesus, present that rod in your hand to God. Go ahead. Is it your music ministry? Is it your business? What is the rod you want God to anoint tonight? That with it you will use to schedule a season of financial rewards rewards in terms of influence and visibility cry before god lord i may not have much but here is my heart my mind my everything take it it's yours alone go ahead and pray lord i hand over this prophetic ministry i may not have much but this is the grace you have given me lord you have given me extraordinary intelligence lord you have given me beauty and physical appearance Lord, you have given me nobility of stature like Saul. Someone pray. Lord, you have given me the teaching ability. You have made me a phenomenal teacher. You have made me an artist, a sportsman, a career person. Come on, someone lift up your voice and pray.
Shabragate Pakatos Kata Brande Geberetos Shapros Kate Brande Geberetos Yata. I hand it over to you. That rod you have given me. You've given me the grace for entrepreneurship. My passion cannot be wasted. You've given me a heart for children. You've called me into the healing ministry. You've called me into the prophetic ministry. Someone pray, someone pray, someone pray. Your value, the reward system of the kingdom works with your value, your skill, your ability. Obtain grace to refine it. Obtain grace to discover. Obtain grace to refine. The nations are waiting to be used by God to reward you. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. Oh, oh, Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for the kings to be born for the kings to arise for revival to be born yeah. Ali, Ali, Someone pray. Father, it's time for the nations to drink of the grace you have placed upon my life. It's time for the nations to partake of my business acumen, of the prophetic grace, of the ministerial grace, the teaching mantle. I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hear me. I'm about to pray now. Listen carefully. When I was teaching you on finances, and we have another series that I want you to really pay attention to when it's time, I taught you that our rewards in life, as I have learned, will always be in exact ratio to three things number one the need or the demand for what you do number two your ability or proficiency in doing what you do and number three the difficulty in replacing you in business we call it the law of compensation this is what guides the reward system that every time you become so valuable that kings can look for you 
nobles can look for you nations can look for you placing a demand upon the grace of god in, on your life whether in with respect to business endeavors or your professional life or ministry make up your mind to not be a mediocre go back home after this sermon and don't just rejoice that you came to church and heard a powerful sermon go back and discipline yourself prune out every kind of laziness and laxity from your life and obtain grace and be determined tonight under god that you will not rest until your value gets to the throne serving kings and nobles god bless you so much thank you for watching this powerful video through god's word and by his servant apostle joshua selma in case this video has so blessed your life i'd like you to please subscribe to this youtube channel and strike the notification bell to stay in touch with every of our recent updates posts and also videos from god's servant apostle joshua selma and also do well to share this video with your loved ones family friends to also get them in blessed get them in good shape spiritually god bless you